Hi, this is Taylor with Rosh Review, and I'm going to show you how to manage your cohorts. Cohorts are a feature within Rosh Review that allow you to organize your users by date or by the year that they are in their training. This allows you to download data based on specific groupings. It also allows you to assign assessments to specific groups of users. To get started, you'll need to log into your program director dashboard. If you're unsure of what your login is, please contact us at support at rushreview.com. You'll also need to already have added your students or residents to the group. If you're unsure how to do this, we cover it in a previous video. Again, you can always contact us at support at rushreview.com with any questions. Once you've logged in and you've added your users to your account, which you'll be able to verify the students have been added. By clicking into the current group, you'll see their email address and their name is populated. Once that's done, you'll go back to the home page. And one thing we've done to increase the ease of using the cohorts is we've put the button right here on the home page. Uh, many of you know the cohorts used to be accessible under the Manage Accounts tab. And it still is, you can still access it from Manage Accounts by clicking on the Manage Cohorts link. But it's a much more convenient point to have it on the home page. So to get started, you'll just log in and click on Manage Cohorts. You may see past cohort data if you've used this functionality in the past. However, if you're a new subscriber or using this feature for the first time, you'll get started by hitting the Add a New Cohort button. You can now name the cohort. Um, if you're a PA program, perhaps you're delineating between clinical and didactic years. If you're a residency, perhaps you'd like to organize your residents based on their program year. You'll choose the start and end date. For example, if you're choosing PGY1, the user probably starts on July 1st, and they're a, in their first year of training up until June 30th of next year. Once those dates are delineated, you'll just select the users. You can choose add all residents or you can select them individually and you'll just save the cohort. You'll get a notification it was created successfully and going forward, you can now download self-study data, which is uh, data on the exams that the users are creating themselves, and you can download assessment data. The assessments are those exams available here that the program assigns to the users. If you have any other questions, feel free to email us at support at Thanks very much.